Happy sunshine, boys and girls. Uh, BZ posted this on the IUV website on Monday, the 28th of August, 2017. This is fresh. Uh, it's 10.30 uh, Pacific time now, so she couldn't have done this very long ago. And I'm going to, I read through it once and I checked in with my gut and this really needs a video. So this originally published on Terran Cognito's website. I got a Skype tonight from Mike O'Brien, see below whom I really don't know very well. First I heard of him was when a petition asking Donald Trump to pardon slash commute Heather and Randy, and in parentheses, they are not guilty of anything. Uh, Mike's done some videos too, and apparently has a big YouTube following. Yeah, I think about 15,000 subscribers. I also met up with Neil Wolf uh, and Tristan in DC. I think all men mean well but not like I know any of them very well. My focus has been assisting Heather the best way I can. I don't know which ginger Mike is referring to. It isn't stated, so I can't really say. I only know two gingers in any case, so I can't vouch for what Mike O'Brien purports, nor do I know what Skype or Facebook this refers to. But I can say this unequivocally. Heather is indeed in jail in Knoxville, Tennessee. I've spent money following her and paying for court stuff and housing and gobs of money for paper filings and transcripts and you name it. Two, she's not supporting any bank. That's all that needs to be said about whatever is going on in Heather's name. We are not newcomers to agent provocateurs disinformation, or name dropping by people wishing to make a profit stream from knowledge of UCC and alleged quote unquote quantum grammar, or any other imaginings or doings in the name of telling people part of the UCC story, but not all of it. I know of a paid informant or two, in parentheses, thanks to Stan X, who has gotten really close to some, and they always seem to want to know about my whereabouts and doings. No big deal. Not a new thing. We have been monitored electronically for five years. Not much has changed for us. It used to be really obvious when 100 Skype messages would come in a batch, indicating it cleared the morning desk of some NSA analyst. But the government got smarter, had Microsoft buy up Skype, remove the P2P communications, and put it all on one easily monitored cloud. Google, too. They changed their name to Alphabet in a nod and a wink to the Alphabet agencies that fund them so well. Snowden warned us, didn't he? Now it is obvious. Create a photo on Photoshop and Photoshop phones home to Adobe about it. For Heather, agents has, have always had an orange glow to them, so she has always known who they are, and she quite often brings them closer to keep an eye on them, and she loves them as much as anyone else. I love them all, for they are all original, all source in body, no matter the motive or doing, purported agents or not. And you know what? There's a whole lot of them inside those agencies rooting us on, and sometimes quietly assisting in hidden ways. I cannot even list the number of people now assisting us who frankly were trying to destroy Heather in 2013 and 2014. For the Chinese dragons or their storefront Swiss Indo, or the gazillions of secret societies with their own grub, state claims in the status quo. 
Heather never charged a dime for all the work she did. She spent a great deal of her own money. I believe $2 million was the figure over the last 17 years. And her time, too, for all of humanity. She only ever sought to set humanity free and that they would know and that they would know, as she knows, that they are also original and source in body. She didn't do this to perpetuate the legal profession or to be forever filing UCC documents. When Heather was interviewed for her admission to Gonzaga University Law School, they asked her why she wanted to be a lawyer. Heather's reply, quote, so nobody ever needs a lawyer again, end quote. I guess they never expected her to make good on all that. And that's the real irony of this moment. Oh, there's more. See my next post. And then there is an image here uh, coming from Mike O'Brien. Taryn BZ need to speak with you urgently. Ginger is claiming Heather is not in jail and is working with them and is admin of their group on Facebook, etc., etc. Their group has 30,000 members, and this is why all the support is getting messed up. I've been trying to combat this alone. I need your help. If you can make a statement, they are using Heather's name to push their agenda of getting all these people to sign government documents and UCCs. They are dangerous. They are the ones spreading all this fake info. And that's, uh, that's, the, that's the end of the message uh, with, with an indication from BZ that she's going to have a lot more in her next post. So this had a feel to me of something that was very important. We saw in one of my prior videos, just uh, from the past couple days, that the Southern Poverty Law Center has got a smear article on Heather on their website. So I'm not sure what the truffle kerfuffle over alleged banks and other rumors about Heather, I'm not sure when we get under the window dressings here what this is really going to be all about. But it sounds like there's a Facebook group that has 30,000 members that is allowing allowing that Facebook group page to author their perceptions about the true nature of this case. And that's a interesting tactic to expose and the sooner it's exposed and the sooner that this information gets out to all of you the better and that's about all I've got to say about this one I'm interested to see what's happening next all right I love you guys a lot if you have any love lighter links for me send them to lunacy l-u-n-a-s-e-e -E, at protonmail.com sweet dreams